Hi guys, I'm back with some exclusive tea. Before we get into anything, like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Make sure you turn on post notifications, okay? And follow my second channel, okay? That will be in the description box, okay? So follow my second channel just in case. You never know. We're going to start off with Doja Cat. So, allegedly, Doja Cat has been feeling a little down, and that's why she has lost some weight. Now, people have noticed that Doja Cat is a little bit skinnier. Allegedly, she's been feeling a lot of stress. Um, she does allegedly suffer from uh, mental health issues, okay? So, I don't know if that's depression, anxiety, um, but if you follow Doja Cat, uplift her, you know, write some nice comments or something. We got to make Doja Cat feel better. I like Doja Cat, so I want to see her when I don't want her to feel down and uh, trying to compete with these other chicks because she's very talented, but allegedly, you know, she has been feeling very low of herself, okay, for whatever reason. Um, I heard it's because of the pressure in the industry um, and trying to put out hits, um, also, she feels like people really don't respect her pen game. You know, she's not getting the credit that she deserves. People have been complaining about the awards that she's been receiving. So she's feeling the pressure in the industry. And that's one of the reasons why um, she's been losing a lot of weight, okay? She's also working on an album, trying to put out good visuals. So that's another reason why. Moving on to Olivia Rodrigo. So for Olivia Rodrigo, allegedly her label has given her some bots to use. Okay. And basically the reason why they're doing that is because they want her to compete with Dua Lipa and Billie Eilish. And Dua Lipa puts out high numbers, okay? She's always top 10, top five, um, and she always puts out hits. She's always at the award shows. So when you're competing with somebody else, you always want to be the winner. Same thing with Doja Cat. She's competing with Cardi B when it comes to numbers. So that's why they gave um, Doja Cat some bots and it was kind of very obvious like I didn't notice it at first because I do not have Spotify okay I will admit that I don't have Spotify but a lot of people do and people were in my DMs like did you see Doja Cat's numbers on Spotify how it's because of the bots man okay so they're they're pushing um Olivia Rodrigo to be one of the main chicks and to go up against Dua Lipa and Billie Eilish now, I love Dua Lipa and I love Billie Eilish. I'm not a big fan of Olivia Rodrigo. Um, I really got to listen to her music more because I think that's the reason why I'm not really a huge fan because I don't really listen to her music like that. She really just came out of nowhere. She just popped out out of the sky for me. I really wasn't paying attention to her. Like Billie Eilish, Dua Lipa, I've been kind of following them for a few years. So that is the reason why... They are giving her bots and that's who they want her to compete with because she is basically a pop star. And then with Doja Cat is for her to get more pop records with um, Caucasian artists. Like, you know, if Doja Cat was on the Maroon 5 record instead of Megan Thee Stallion, that, that record would have went top five. Okay. Now we're going on to Megan Thee Stallion. Okay, and I just got back that Megan Thee Stallion is working on a few freestyles, okay? She's working on a few freestyles, and it looks like she will be taking shots, okay? Now, hopefully, um, Nikki and Megan can square away their issues, but allegedly, she's, she's going to be talking about Nikki's age, Okay, talking about how she's almost 40, still doing this. And maybe she'll go back and change the, the um, you know, lyrics. Because you never know. Because you can do that. Um, but I just got back that she's going to be talking about Nikki's age. That's one of the things she's going to be talking about when she's going back and forth with Nikki. 
Like you're old, you're almost 40, go sit down, blah, blah, blah. Also, allegedly, Megan Thee Stallion um, might get a team of writers. Rock Nation wants Megan Thee Stallion to get a team of writers, okay? Now, Rock Nation is her management, not her label. But 1501 don't really mess with Megan like that, okay? We all know why. From the public... Um, back and forth they had, what, last year, two years ago. Megan don't really mess with 1501 like that. She's just under contract with them. Rock Nation really is the one pushing Megan Thee Stallion. And when she's out of her contract with 1501, she's probably going to go on Rock Nation. I'll be very shocked if she slithers out of Camel Face's hands, okay? He's going to milk her, okay? For everything she got, he's going to make sure he gets everything he can from her, okay? Now, Megan would prefer not to have a team of writers, but they are encouraging her to use writers, especially when you're going up against Nicki Minaj, okay? So there, it doesn't mean she wants to use them because they ask all female writers for whatever reason, not female writers, female rappers to use writers for whatever reason. I don't know why they try to get Nikki to use writers. Okay. So it's a, it's a thing. So for whatever reason, um, they want Megan to use writers, not just party. Okay. They want her to use writers if she's going to go back and forth with Nikki. Okay. Rock Nation does. And the reason why Rock Nation is so invested in Megan right now is because they are hoping that when she's out of her contract, that she's going to sign with them, okay? And then they're going to milk her for whatever she got left, and then they're going to throw her to the side. Now, I like Megan. I don't think Megan needs writers. Going up against Nikki, well, you might need a little help, okay? Because there's really not much you really can say. You really can't say much. Remy Ma done said it all. You really can't say, oh, she slept with this one, slept with this one. I mean, like, Remy Ma done said it all. What can you really say about Nikki? You can't talk about her brother. You can't talk about her husband. That's already been done. So you got to come with something different. But she will be taking shots at Nikki's age. Nobody really comes at Nikki's age. But I guess Megan is going to throw a shot about her age in a song or in a freestyle that she's going to be dropping, okay? Now, she can always go back and change it. Maybe she don't want to go below the belt. Maybe she just might say, oh, you're jealous of me, blah, blah, blah. Say the same thing over and over. You know, how people switch up like she did on the DJ Khaled record, okay? She can just not hit below the belt. But allegedly, she's going to be dropping a few freestyles and she will be taking shots and she's going to be talking about Nicki Minaj's age. What I just want to know about Megan, because I like Megan. Some of y'all don't. Some of y'all do. I like Megan. I just want to know what's the truth and what's not the truth. My whole thing is with the whole Cardi situation, she said Cardi B was her best friend, but then Cardi B said Offset was her best friend. So I'm confused about that. Offset was her best friend and how she has no friends in the industry. So I'm confused as to who's really friends with who, okay? And then also, Megan said she wasn't smashing Tory Lanez, but he came out and said he was in love with her. They looked like they were smashing. He put his crotch on her butt, like at the Rock Nation brunch. You can go back and look at the pictures. And then... And then they were out at three o'clock in the morning with the whole incident. Like, I'm not going to be out at three o'clock in the morning with nobody I'm not smashing. That's just weird to me. I don't know. that I, I don't know how people get down, but, you know, and he confessed that he was in love with her. So to me, I don't know what to believe when it comes to Megan. I'm not calling her a liar because I like Megan, but I'm just, I'm just saying like, I just don't understand her relationship status with people. It's like she thinks one thing and then they say another thing. Like her relationship status. You know, she called Cardi B little pump. But now she's her best friend. I don't, I'm confused. Like I wouldn't call my best friend little pump. Because where is little pump's career? In the toilet. So I don't, I mean, I don't know if little pump is relevant right now. Is he? 
the last time I seen Lil Pump, he was, you know, for Trump and then nothing really happened. Trump and um, that's really all we've heard from him. We haven't really seen him since. Has he released any music? I haven't heard anything. That song with Kanye, that's old. So I don't know why she would call him Lil Pump. You know, why she would call Cardi Lil Pump. That's weird to me. And then call Nicki Minaj J. Cole. That doesn't sound like a friend to me. I don't know. But anyway, maybe, you know, they have some sort of secret relationship that we don't know about. Know about. But anyway, if you like this exclusive, like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Make sure you turn on post notifications, okay? Follow my other YouTube page, please. Please follow it. And I will see you guys in the next, you know, video. And this video is strictly for entertainment purposes only due to legal reasons.